Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading 1 Kings 3 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh king of Egypt and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he had made an end of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places because there was no house built unto the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burned incense in high places. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer on that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast shewed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth, and in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him his great kindness, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast hast the life of thine enemies, but hast hast for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee. Neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honour, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast all his servants. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, O my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also, and we were together there, was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight, and took my son from beside me, while thine handmaid slept, and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom and when i and when i rose in the morning to give my child suck behold it was dead but when i had considered it in the morning behold it was not my son which i did bear and the other woman said nay but the living is my son and the dead is thy son and this said no but the dead is thy son and the living is my son. Thus they speak before the king. Then said the king, The one saith, This is my son that liveth, 
and thy son is the dead, and the other saith, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one, and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose whose the living child was unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son. And she said, O my lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment with the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where God offered a gift to Solomon because he was pleased with him somehow. And so when he when he actually asked when he actually offered the option of a gift to Solomon, Solomon did not think only of himself. He thought of the people. He did not think selfishly. And God was pleased with this. Solomon asked for a discerning heart, a just heart. And God was moved that he said, you did not ask for riches. You did not ask for me to slay your enemies. You did not ask for me to, you know, multiply you or to actually add to your days what you asked for a discerning heart, for wisdom and understanding so that you may judge and rule fairly over these people. And that is an awesome thing. I mean, no one else would do that. And so, I bless you with this, but I bless you also with riches, because you've pleased me. And so, we see where it does, it is rewarding to be selfless at times. At times, I say at times because there are certain instances where you need to be selfish and not selfless. Yes, guys, as harsh as it sounds, it's true. Sometimes you got to focus on you, okay? But there are times where you focus on others. You are selfless in all your doings, right? And we see where Solomon was actually selfless here in what he asked for, of in, in what he asked of God for his gifted and not only that, but we see where his wisdom was demonstrated through the incident of the two mothers and the child, the dead child and the living child. And we see how he actually um, executed his judgment there. And it was most pleasing to everyone who heard of it. And they indeed, and these aren't my words, but these are the words of the scripture. I'm just basically reviewing what took place in the scripture because everything was basically clear here. Okay, so he actually gained all the people so that he had the wisdom of God with him. Okay, and so they feared him because of that. And Guys, I don't know about you all, but I want to have the wisdom of God. Okay, not so others basically fear me, but because I want to be just and I want to be fair in everything that I do. And I know that sometimes, um, not just me, but humans on a whole, we're selfish in our thoughts. And so sometimes we need to be selfish. I mean, I am kind of selfless. When it comes to certain things but when it comes to other things i'm not so much so 
less and so I think I need to learn how to balance that and I think you do too if you are not good at that you definitely need to pray for that okay all right guys so I'm not gonna rant on I'm gonna leave you right there please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so that you're alerted to whenever a new audio video is posted and guys please remember to share your thoughts your comments and your revelations down below in the comment section okay don't be a stranger and please remember that my ig handle is down below in the description box so if you need to hit me up it's right there for you okay quick access the link is right down below okay guys continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye